Welcome to YouTubers Love Excel number 97. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link and download the workbook YouTubers Love Excel 97 to 100. Hey, this YouTuber said, how come you use control enter to put a formula into a cell instead of enter? Well, I'll show you why I do control enter and then I'll show you five different ways to enter a formula and a use for each way to enter a formula. All right, uh, most of us enter a formula and then hit enter. Let's go ahead and create a total here. I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut for auto sum, alt equals. Notice alt equals um, guesses, and because it guessed right, we could hit enter like this. But because we wanted to click on this cell and then use our fill handle to copy it down, I'm going to put it back into edit mode with F2. So because we immediately need to do something to the cell like copy it or format it, it's more efficient to hold control and then enter. That puts the formula in the cell and uh, keeps that active cell selected. Then we don't have to click back up here or use our arrow key. We can just point to this and double click and fill the send, fill, send the, fill, the formula down. I'm going to click in the last cell and hit F2 just to check. All right, that worked. All right, now let's look. We looked at Control Enter. Now let's look at Shift Tab. Now sometimes you're entering Shift Tab will put the formula in the cell and move the cursor to the left. And since we're going to create an average here and then a total here, it's more efficient to create our formula and Shift Tab because we're immediately going to do something in a cell to the left. So I'm going to say equals average. And then I'm going to arrow over and control shift down arrow. Now, instead of, here's another trick. If you have a simple function, you can leave that uh, close parentheses off and it saves a click, which is a time saver if you work in Excel a lot. But now I'm going to hit shift tab because we know that tab always goes to the right, but shift tab goes to the left. So shift tab. And then I can do alt equals. Uh, arrow key till I get to there, control shift, and because I want to keep this cell selected, I'm going to control enter. So that is shift tab going to the left. All right, what about going to the right? We'll do it the opposite here. We'll create our formula here, alt equals. I'm going to arrow over, control shift down arrow, and then I'm going to tab because I'm immediately going to do something in the cell to the right. Equals average. And then arrow, 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 control down arrow, control enter. So that's tab. Remember, these are all efficiency tricks. If you're going to do something immediately to the right after entering a formula, why not use tab? Now I'm going to scroll over here. We'll look at uh, two, the two remaining uh, methods. Uh, let's add up all of these cells here. And we're going to use shift enter. Shift enter pops the cursor up. I'm going to Alt equals. It doesn't know where to go, so I'm going to use my arrow key, arrow key, down arrow. And now watch this. I'm going to hold Shift and right arrow, and then hold Control, Shift, and down arrow. Now look at this. My um, screen is way below. Um, so if I hit Shift and Enter, it'll put the formula in the cell and go up one cell, which brings my um, uh, where I was working back onto the screen. So I'm going to hold Shift and Enter. Finally, um, enter. We all know enter. And that's when you're creating formulas or doing things uh, vertically. So I'm going to Alt equals and then enter. And I'll create my next formula equals round. This uh, right here times this tax rate right here, comma 2, because I'm going to the penny. And the penny is 1, 2 to the right of the decimal, close parentheses, Control, Enter. So that is how to um, five different ways to enter formulas and a good, efficient use for each. All right, we'll see you next trick.